Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to a, a preliminary hearing where a sovereign citizen was caught driving a commercial vehicle without the proper license. That's right. An actual commercial vehicle. Something that's meant for commerce. But I guess this guy's just too incredibly stupid to understand that or whatever because he just spouts off all his sovereign citizen BS and will bring stupidity to a whole new level. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this dude make a complete ass out of himself. Mohammed Idris. He's here for arraignment on two matters. And he has one. They're all from the same date. They're all. All right, I see. So case number 3A025-72054, State versus Muhammad Idris, charges vehicle operator refused to comply with the police officer. There are two infraction charges as well, 3A009-6934, it's a violation of a special uh, trip permit, and 3A009693, uh, failure to obey traffic control device and failure to renew his expired registration on a vehicle. Yeah, that sounds like a typical sovereign citizen thing to do right there. But he hasn't spoken yet. Uh, I can't wait to hear what uh, unique sovereign citizen arguments this guy has. I wonder if he has come up with anything new and exciting that uh, would be wonderful to try to debunk. So let's carry on, shall we? Mr. Kale, any contact from Mr. Idris? Uh, either Mr. Idris or a representative of Mr. Idris is present on Zoom, Your Honor. Uh, and See? I believe he may tend to proceed pro se, or at least without the assistance of public defense. So I would ask the court to inquire with him about that. I will. So um, on the screen listed is Muhammad authorized representative for Muhammad Idris. Is that right? First of all, uh, I uh, object to public defender saying that I'm pro se, which I am not. I'm the authorized representative on behalf of the state and uh, I would like to request for continuous due to uh, I made a request for uh, uh, discovery and there was no email provided to me and I was informed that only a phone number is available and I called that phone number and uh, there was no answer and they I did not get any voicemail and out of the three cases i only received notice for two one is missing i don't have the paperwork for that uh due for that reason i would like to get a uh, continuous all right so let's start with this are you muhammad idris let's get the name straight to begin with uh, that's the estate on the trust i'm the authorized representative on behalf of the estate that the court is trying to administrate in other words, you are the man that they're looking for. You just don't want to admit it because you just want to pull this sovereign citizen mumbo jumbo uh, crap about uh, about non-existent trusts that everybody apparently has, according to uh, sovereign citizen uh, BS lore. Well, the state's not charging the uh, estate. This, the state is charging Muhammad Idris. So that's who we need to address. Is that you, is my question. Uh, I object if uh, I have a question for, uh, that's a question for the prosecutor, correct? 
No, the question was directed toward you, not the prosecutor. Learn, I mean, how are you going to represent yourself in a court if you can't even figure out who's talking to who at this point? I mean, obviously it was directed at you. Well, you're, you're here asking for a continuance because you want something else. Uh, I have to know who it is that is requesting the continuance. And, and how you speak on behalf of Muhammad Idris. I'm the authorized representative of the estate. Uh, like my uh, family name is Idris, given name Muhammad Ismail for the estate, which is Muhammad Ismail Idris, estate on a trust. In other words, you're stating that it is you not this trust BS, not the estate, but you. All right. As I say, you're, the estate is not being charged with a criminal offense. Mohammed Ismail Idris is being charged with criminal offenses. Now, you indicate I, that you only got that. two of the three notices. Which charges did you get notice of? Did you get notice uh, I, uh, for the failure to obey traffic sig signal? I object to your saying the is this has nothing to do with the estate. It has everything to do with the estate and the trust that's being charged. Okay, for those of you who are new to sovereign citizens, have never heard of what they are about or anything they believe, uh, one of the primary tenets of their uh, little belief system is that we are, when we are born, we get a trust in our name that, uh, foreign governments invest in and when we uh, get to a certain point in our lives we're supposed to be able to access them just in case we end up in court or anything like that so we don't have to pay fines penalties or anything like that and of course that's not the case i mean why would it be why would foreign governments invest money in indiv individual average citizens of another country i mean they've got their own issues with money that they've got to take care of and all that i mean they can't just idly give away billions and trillions of dollars on individual citizens when they have entire countries that they have to help out with that money i mean come on now dude that's not how it works in the real world in addition according to their belief system the judges are in on this. They know all about these trusts and everything like that. And it's kind of a, a code, a mysterious code that they're supposed to be able to get into that allows the judges to know that they're in on it too. Which we all know that's just a bunch of freaking BS to begin with. I mean, that's way too much money to be floating around for, any, for it to have any value. Well, not to be argumentative, Mr. Idris, but the state wasn't driving the vehicle. I suspect the uh, city is, or the state will try to prove that Mohammed Idris was driving the vehicle. That's their job in this case. Uh, I object. That's a hearsay. Is a, uh, the court is assuming and presuming that's the case, which is not. So if you can continue with the uh, continuous, I'll appreciate it. Wow. Continue with the continuous. Even your word salad is becoming more word salady. <clears throat> well, I'm going to ask the city or the state rather to establish probable cause at this time on the uh, charge ending in or the case number ending in 7205, which is the vehicle operator refusing to comply with the officer. You've already been sworn, Ms. Mann, so we'll go ahead. Um, the charge of refusal to give information on May 11th, 2023, Officer Kelsler responded to her request for assistance from Officer Turner, who had performed a traffic stop on a commercial motor vehicle that was traveling in a left lane prohibited. Wait, what? The sovereign citizen was traveling in a commercial vehicle, an actual commercial vehicle? I wonder if he had a valid CDL. 
I mean, you got to have a valid CDL to drive in commerce because it is actually a commercial vehicle, especially if it is an actual uh, tractor trailer like it is mentioned later on. I mean, yeah, you got to have a CDL, dude. For CMV southbound I-5 at mile post 96, the driver is later ID'd by his DOL photo on file as Mohammed Ismail Idris. And uh, I is- object. Both officers within court, despite multiple Mr. Reasons. Idris, hold on, Ms. Court, Mr. Idris, the please court, this, let her finish. The court, okay. Let her finish. Go ahead, Ms. Mann. Refused to provide My both point. officers with an ID despite multiple requests by both officers. He was cited for operating a vehicle and refusing to comply with the police officer and released. He was also charged with the infractions at that time? Uh, yes, Your Honor. And I have a probable cause for the special fuel trip permits violation as well, if you'd like. Yes, why don't you give us that too? On May 16th, 2023, Officer Turner observed a tractor trailer traveling south on I-5 near mile post 98, speeding and traveling in a restricted left lane. The officer made contact with the driver who refused to identify himself but was identified through his DOL photo on file as Mohammed Ismail Idris. While looking up his inspection history, uh, it was revealed that the registration on the power unit had expired several months earlier and was revoked by the Washington State Department of Licensing. He was cited and released. Is it my turn to speak? All right, Mr. Idris, it's now your turn. Go ahead. Uh, I object. I, I requested for continuous and I was not informed if it was denied or granted. And I do not consent to being uh, for the court to move forward. If you guys decide to move forward, I prefer physically present instead of a Zoom call. If you guys decide to continue. And what's the basis of your objection again? Why you want a continuance? The reason I need the continuance is out of the three cases, the case number, I only got two notices, not the third one. One is missing. And also I requested for discovery to the uh, clerk of the court. And they said, uh, I have to get hold of uh, the prosecutor office. And I got hold of the prosecutor office. There's no email for me to request for the discovery. Oh, oh, that sounds like a load of BS right there. I mean, no email for the prosecutor. Uh, Yeah, I don't think so. I'm thinking it's just that you don't want to go through the process, and therefore you're just trying to slow everything down. That would be the more likely scenario right there, that you just didn't want to uh, do this, and so you're dragging your feet. The only way is a phone number. When I called the phone number, nobody answered. So how can you guys continue without, I don't even have any discovery. So I don't know what's up up against me. I don't have the details of the discovery. Well, you've heard what's against you. Ms. Mann just repeated what she believes the city, the state will be able to prove in this case. Um, It there may is be, not a proper notice. Mr. Idris, hold on. It may be that the two infraction numbers appeared on the same document, case ending in 933 and case ending in 934, since they're both infractions. And then the second one would end in 205, which is a criminal charge. So that's a possibility. But based on your request for to have this set over, we will set out the arraignment and you may appear in person. There's nothing stopping you from appearing in person. Uh, Physically present. (laughs) Yes, in person. All right, although I believe there is probable cause been established, I'm not going to find that today. 
to give Mr. Idris the opportunity to look at all these documents. And Ms. Mann, is there some better way for him to request the discovery in this case that he's talking about? Um, not that I know of, Your Honor. I can check with my supervisor. If you... All right, go ahead. In the meantime, while we're looking for that information, Mr. Idris, <clears throat> I want to confirm a mailing address for, for you or for your estate. Let me check for a moment. Uh, I object. Uh, I'm not a mister. Pardon me? I say I object. I want to make a correction. You, you called me mister. I'm, I'm not a mister. Mister is a title. Yeah, it is a title, dude, but it is a title of respect. It is something that is done out of courtesy and, like I said, out of respect for the individual, you dumbass. So if you don't want to go by the title of Mr., which there's nothing wrong with that to begin with, it denotes a certain uh, respect toward the person, uh, I guess we'll be just fine with calling you dumbass. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! Is your address still on 8th Avenue in Seattle? Mailing address? I don't have an address. I have a location, a private location I can only receive for mailing purposes only for notices. Oh my goodness, you are you are something else as far as stupidity goes. I mean, that is essentially the very definition of an address, you bloody moron. I don't know what other words I can call you other than moron, nincompoop, nitwit, uh, uh, idiot, imbecile, dumbass, or anything like that. I mean, there's just not enough words in the English language to define the kind of stupid you are. Is that a P.O. box ends, in Tukwila? That ends with triple nine eight. I'm seeing nine, a P.O. Nine, box nine, eight. stated eight eight zero eight one, Tukwila, Washington. And there's a dash at the end nine 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 eight. This triple nine and eight. Those four digits is very important to put it on there. So 88081-888-9? No. I missed those last, the last up, four up. 88081-what? What's next? Like I said, I don't have an address. I have a private location where I can receive for mailing purposes only. Yeah, an address, you dumbass. And the only thing I will uh, and indicate is the last four digit after the end of the location would ends nine 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 eight. Is that a street address or a mailbox? Post office box. That's my mailing location. Where, where I can receive notices only. Um, we can't address notice to you at 9998. I need more than that. What happens, Mr. Idris, is if you don't respond to this, there's going to be a warrant issued for your arrest. We have to give you notice first. That's what we're trying to get established here. Uh, I object. Notices can be sent to me through my e uh, private email. As Are well. you going to give us that private email? The court has it on file. Your Honor. Candace, do we have that? Uh, Your Honor, good afternoon. This is uh, DPA Tom Ferro. Before we uh, proceed beyond this case, I'd like to address the court. All right. I'm, I'm trying to get a mailing address here. 
Mr. Idris, we have two addresses from the Department of Licensing. One is on 8th Avenue in Seattle, and the other is a P.O. Box in Tukwila. If you're not willing to provide us with your email address, we're going to just send notice to those two addresses. I object. Again, I'm going to make a correction. I'm not a mister, which is a title. If you can call me with my proper name, which is a family name and a given name, I'll appreciate that. Yes, Mohammed Idris. We're going to send notice to those two addresses that we have. You meant to say unless you give uh, us something family. Different. You meant to say uh, my family name, which is Idris. All right, we're going to use that. That's what he sent to us, requesting information about court, correct? All right, looks like we do have an email address for you when you Your request Honor, it. Um, just before we go in. All right, Mr. Farrow, let's hear from you. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I was listening on the YouTube. Um, I wanted to address the court just to highlight the fact that Mr. Mr. Idris was given the constitutionally required notice at the scene on at least two of these cause numbers, there are citations in the record. Those were hand uh, handed to him and he was advised of the upcoming court date. Uh, that's kind of my first point. So I think I, if the if the court wants to continue, I, I don't know when he was first scheduled for arraignment, but it looks like this has been going on for a little bit. If the court wants to continue on those two matters, I, I'm happy to, I mean, it, it says here, it's checked the box for the ticket was served on the violator. Um, I'm happy, I guess I could send something to one of these email addresses, but I would also urge the court to note that if you look on jabs, we've, we've tried sending mail to Mr. Idris. It is not, or it's been returned. Finally, your honor, and I'm not trying to be silly about this, but I, I, I've sort of heard these arguments before in court. And I think I know where we're going with this. Um, the state's not satisfied legally that, the defendant in, the, in this case has appeared today. I think he's claiming to be some sort of representative for some sort of estate or trust or other nonsense. But based on Mr. Idris's failure to appear today, the state would request the court to issue a warrant in the amount of $10,000. Thank you, Your Honor. I object. Everything he said is a hearsay, assumption, presumption, and tacit agreement. It has nothing to do with the facts. Well, now. Uh, you know what the facts are right now? The facts are they're about to issue a warrant for your sorry ass because you're playing these sovereign citizen games. And when they get, finally get a hard, of the real sovereign he's going to be sitting in front of the judge still playing these sovereign citizen games. But you know what? I don't think it'll work out for you in the end. He's not telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And he was supposed to take a stand and write an affidavit. He's not doing any of that. He's just waiting for my silence, <laughs> acquiescence. So I object to everything that he said. Hey, dumbass, you need to drop this sovereign system bullshit and just listen to what's going on here. They're about to issue a warrant for your arrest. This is not the actual trial. He has not been sworn in as a result of it. This is just a preliminary hearing. And finally, the silence issue is not a, uh agreement to anything. It is just silence. It is not acquiescing to anything, you bloody moron. Oh yeah, and for those who are new to Sovereign Citizens, like I said, there's a lot of the uh, uh, nice little nuances to them. So the silence uh, basically means they agree to a contract or uh, agree to do something. So if you ask a sovereign citizen to take out the garbage or something like that for them and they say, don't say anything, then they've essentially agreed to that contract to take out the garbage. That's at least how they view it. All right, I understand that. Muhammad Idris, um, he makes a good point. If you're going to argue that you are 
a representative for Mr. Idris. Um, Mr. Idris hasn't made a full appearance in court yet today. And therefore that would lead to the potential issuance of a bench warrant for your arrest for not showing up. So can I we object- resolve that question at least that Mohammed Idris has appeared for arraignment today? I object again. It's what you're saying. Everybody in the court is saying is assumptions, presumptions, tacit agreement is a hearsay. You cannot use a hearsay or assumption and presumption in court. It's uh, wrong information. And I object to all of that. And I am not a representative. Like I said, I said I am authorized representative or an agent or an executor of the estate on behalf of the estate and trust. In other words, you are a fucking representative of the defendant, you dumbass. No matter how many times you try to twist the words, that is what you are saying. You are a representative and no amount of word salad or word twisting or whatever can change that. And as I've indicated, um, the estate was not driving this commercial vehicle at the time these citations were issued. So I'm, I'm not going to accept that. I'm not going to carry this on. Do you, further, have, a, Mr. Do you have a power of a, do you have a power of attorney for this matter to continue? You dumbass. That's not what power of attorney means. Power of attorney means that if your mother was having issues or something like that, couldn't make decisions on her own, she would hand over her power of attorney to you, basically uh, making you the executor of her estate, uh, make the, making decisions on her behalf, such as investments or anything of that nature you dumbass it has nothing to do with being an attorney you freaking moron do Where i your power of the, or the court or yourself <laughs> mr idris i'm speaking. going to find the following if you'll listen i'm sorry mohammed idris if you'll listen here's what I, i'm going to I do object today. i object i understand we your objections have been noted um, you're i'm saying finding that. probable cause today For the charges, I'm finding that Mohammed Idris did appear today, even though he argued and objected that he was appearing on behalf of an estate uh, or a trust. I'm going to enter a a plea of not guilty to these charges, and I'm going to set a pretrial hearing in this matter. Now, Mr. Idris or Mohammed Idris, sorry. Um, You may contact the prosecutor's office um, by writing. You have uh, an email address that we have for you. We're going to send notice to the two addresses that Department of Licensing has and the email address that you use when you contacted the court of when your next court date is going to be. Uh, Mr. Farrow and Ms. Mann, I'll ask you to look for any contact from Mohammed Idris so that the discovery that he is requesting can be provided to him for his next court date. All right. We're going to set a pretrial conference for August 23rd at 2.30. I'm sorry, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon in this courtroom. Uh, I object. If I prefer to be there physically present. Come come to this. court. You can do that. You do not have to be on Zoom. People come to court and have been here in court today. That's why I asked for continuance. Why are you refusing my continuance? You, there is no proper notices. It's all based upon assumption and presumption in a hearsay. No, you were How given you notice continue? at the scene, as Mr. Farrow talked about, on the I, infractions and your mail object- notes. That was not correct. Was he there? I was not given at the scene. He was not there. How can you accept his testimony? That's not 
There's no after uh, accept? There's no witnesses. Okay. Mohammed Idris, was, I'm not going to argue with friend. you. I'm not going to argue with you about this. I can accept the uh, sworn testimony of the officer who testified that he, in his, in his citation, that he pre presented those documents to you uh, on the scene of the stop. So if you want to continue to raise those arguments when you come back to court on the 23rd, that's fine. You can do that at that time. But we're not uh, going to entertain any further arguments on that matter today. Boom. Roasted. I object. I understand. And that's noted in the court record. I have a judgment for him. Your Honor, I, 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 I'm, I hate to be a pain, um, but again, I, I know where this case is headed. Um, I, I have to object on the record that this, the person who claims to be some part of a state or whatever uh, does not appear to be a licensed attorney and is thus not authorized to make objections on the record on behalf of any other party. If Mr. Idris would like to proceed pro se, I would ask that the court uh, read or go through the pro se colloquy with him. But otherwise, I would ask that his objections not be noted. And I would renew my request for a warrant. Thank you. I object Thank again. Thank you, Mr. Farrow. I object again. What he said is not the fact. He's ass assuming. Are you an assuming. attorney, Muhammad Idris? Are you an attorney? You licensed attorney in the state of Washington? You haven't answered my question when I asked you, does the court have a uh, power of attorney against this case? And all three of you guys refuse to answer. And the prosecutor- I, I don't know what that speak. is. I don't know you what don't know it what is power that you're of asking. You don't know what power of attorney is? You have to have a it's power of attorney- It's got nothing to do with continue. the criminal case. As a civil, is not criminal, is it not? No, these are criminal charges. At least one of them is. Who's the executor of the estate? Mr. Estate? Idris, you're missing the point. You're setting yourself up for more trouble. As Mr. Farrow points out, <clears throat> in order for you to represent yourself, you take a great risk in this case. And essentially, that's what you're saying you're doing. Um, Everything... Everything is a trust, is it not? I don't know. I you have only your testimony to state. that effect. You're forcing me without my consent to administrate my estate without my consent. That statement was just so damn stupid. I am just going to call you Wesley and have Picard tell you to shut up. There. So there you go. But shut up, Wesley. So I object to that gentleman. I want to get his name. Is he the pr prosecutor for this case? What's his name? Uh, yes, Tom Farrow. You, can you see his name on the screen? Tom Farrow. Is he the pr prosecutor for this case? I'm going to assume so. He's here talking about it. And I'm going to need the... Uh, discovery from him when i called how come nobody picked up the phone well i have no idea who you ignored. called and what the what the situation was all right um so i'm finding probable cause in the, in the case ending in 7205 refusing to comply with the police officer Ms. man do you have uh Request on conditions of release. Um, I object. That's a hearsay. For both the state uh, request personal recognizance with no criminal violations, no driving without valid license and insurance, Your Honor. I object. The fact is not being indicated onto the record. Are we even on the record? We are on the record.
All of this is on the record. It'll be there for you to review if you choose to do that. Is everything being recorded? Yes, it is. Your Honor, the, fi the final thing I'll note for the record is even if this individual does reach out to the prosecutor's office, I'm not authorized to talk uh, to a representative who's not an attorney, nor am I allowed to uh, speak about a case with an individual who may or may not be represented and who certainly hasn't uh, indicated that he intends to proceed pro se today. I, so I'm just at a bit of a loss. Here. I object. I understand that. I'm, I'm not the deceiver. You're, is, you're is, creating... Is it, you're attempting to create a roadblock that uh, uh, there's no way I'm around. Decedent? Mr. Farrell is makes a good point. Um, is he saying I'm the decedent? Is that what he's saying? Does he have no. a proof that I'm the decedent? Are you, of the Mr. State? Mohammed Idris, are you representing yourself today in this case? Are you going to represent yourself on August 23rd That's when you come back to court? It's impossible to represent myself, is it not? No, it is possible. It's not necessarily a wise choice to represent yourself, but it's possible. Do you or understand that you are, you are, if you represent yourself, you are held to the same standards uh, that an attorney is held to in terms of understanding the law and procedures of court if you choose to represent yourself? I object again. Is the court using my bond? Where is the appearance bond? And the bid bond? I do not understand. I do not comprehend. And I wish not to proceed. Under those circumstances, Mr. Or, Where I'm is sorry, my bond? Muhammad Idris, you should contact an attorney to give you some advice as to how I to object. proceed in this matter. I object. Where is my bond? I need my bond back. I need my bid bond. Or I'll write one and overnight it. Where is my bid bond? And who is the highest bidder of the case? What the hell are you talking about? This isn't an auction. This is a preliminary hearing. What the hell's going on with your brain, dude? All right. On uh, this case, State of Washington versus Mohammed Ismail Idris, case number 3A0257205 WSP. Charges vehicle, operator refusing to comply with a police officer. I'm entering a plea of not guilty to that charge. Um, I am setting certain, I am finding probable cause, first of all, on that charge. I am entering uh, a plea of not guilty to that charge. It, it's obvious from Mr. I'm sorry, from Mohammed Idris's responses, he doesn't want to um, I, I enter object. a plea of guilty to this charge today. We're not going to allow him to uh, frustrate the procedure of the court uh, by taking a irresponsible position like this. Um, the conditions on your release, you are released on what's called your personal recognizance. That's your promise to return to court. Your court date is going to be August 23rd. We're going to send you notice to the two addresses that we have from the Department of Licensing and also to the email address that you contacted this court about. Um, while you are waiting for that August 23rd court date, you are not to commit any new criminal law uh, offenses, I and you're not to drive without license and insurance. I object. Um, your next court date is going to be... I need more time. August 23rd is not enough. Uh, There's plenty of time for court here, so we're going to do it on August the 23rd. I object. At 2 p.m. How can a trustee tell an executor what to do? Because I'm occupying the office of the this executor. This is not a civil matter. 
it's a criminal matter that you have Mr. to come to court on on the 23rd of August 2023. Uh, I am not going to. Um, um, I am the executor and beneficiary of the trust. Am I not? You the trustee. I have no idea. The prosecutor, this not trustee. an issue for this court. Mr. Farrow, I'm not going to issue a bench warrant today. Uh, I don't know how to answer the question that you've raised, which I think is a good one about your ability to provide response to Mr. Idris's request for discovery. Um, I'm not Mr. I don't have the answer to that. So I'm, Mr. Idris, you're able to get the order that I've just signed um, from the Thurston County District Court website under the cause number. Um, let me find it. 3A025-7205. Your next court date will be the 23rd of August at two o'clock. And you are certainly welcome to be here in person on that day. Thank you, I will Mr. Not Idris. Be, I will, I will That's not all be for here today. In person. Well, if that wasn't the raising the bar of stupidity or actually lowering it further into the Marianas Trench, which to the point where nobody could get it out, not even James Cameron. And if you don't know what that reference is, just watch the South Park episode, Raising the Bar, and you'll see what I'm talking about. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.